How's it going, guys? It's Poetry Style. Welcome back to Italian Ambitions. Yes. We're going to take over Burgundy this episode as a personal union, and that is insane. That is absolutely insane, if you didn't realize. I'm a crazy guy, guys and girls. Guys and gals, I'm a crazy little mofo. Oh, I'm a mofo when you know it, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Occupied by Karaman. What the, f what the fudge is Karaman? Karaman. Culture Turkish. What the, f what the fudge? What is Karaman doing in Spain? That makes no sense. That makes no gosh darn sense. I don't know. Probably something to do with like the Ottomans. If I had to guess, Ottomans always have a hand in something when it deals with like Spanish. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, Bohemia. Go handle that. Good, good boy. Oh fudge! I'm being attacked. Ah, ah! They're attacking me. They're they're freaking attacking me. Those little buttholes. No one's gonna help. You f tarts. Oh no, they're coming. Oh please, 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 please. please. Five days. Five days. Three days. Two days. Bam. We're good. <laughs> Suckers. And we're getting so much manpower a month. It it we're gonna pay for this like in like less than a year, which is crazy. These these wars are so cheap as far as manpower because I just have so much of it for such a small nation. Because I've just been freaking developing it in the right spots, you know, just poking in a little here and there, poking in a little here and there, just getting it all worked out. It works pretty well. Tunis has taken the Belairs, Belairies. Ah, uh, spy offense. I don't really care. Prestige is good. We have low legitimacy. All right, let's do this. Yeah, Bohemia, you demand Bohemies, Bohemies. Bohemi, 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 Bohemi. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. We could do it right now. I mean, I'm thinking, why don't we just crush Spain a little more? I want war reps. You make a lot of money, probably. Uh, heck, I don't know. Why, why not just keep going for a while? Probably because B Burgundy uh, would suffer from it, and they're going to be my vassal afterwards. So, yeah, let's just wait like a couple more months. Oh, and then this. We can get this, too. I don't really care about the mana war, so let's do this. We'll get less of aggressive expansion. We get less idea costs in the future, too, which is nice. That's going to make it so it was at, like, 26, and now it's at 20. <laughs> so we can take, like, even more stuff, probably, from Spain, even if we wanted. But I'm not going to do that. Also, the now that Tunis owns the Beliris, that annoys me a little bit. I was hoping to actually take, maybe take that, which is crazy. I probably shouldn't have even considered that in the first place. Yeah, Castile, will you accept white peace? No, you won't. We're not going to worry about it then. Well, maybe we'll. Is there anything else that I would want from Burgundy? I mean, all their money? I mean, why not at this point? I don't think it really matters. It doesn't give you a negative penalty for taking all their money. Maybe it should. The supply limit here is going to be quite a bit. 29. Yeah, we can fit that there. Well, why not? Let's just keep going. It's not like Burgundy's going to take anything back. I, what what is this? A number of colonies and vassals. I love you guys. Oh jeez, that's cheesy. Um, no, yeah, that's pretty cheesy. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I want you to go here, solidify that, or hold there. Yeah, good. Go to Valencia. Attack them there. I don't care about what side. It's gonna be part of my nation soon, anyways. You little mofos. Okay. I mean, these sieges are going well. That'll be done soon. Once we get enough war score with Spain to get war reps, I'm going to leave. I'm going to be like, peace, I'm out. I'm out just, you know, I'm not going to complete that because it's lewd. They might attack us. Probably not. Oh, no, Bohemia's coming down too. This is pretty sweet.
There we go. We should definitely be able to get war reps and money. Give me that money. <laughs> okay. Let's make sure. Yeah, that's just with them. Sweet. <laughs> and now we just freaking... Oh, Platinum, I don't care about you, you little mofo. We're just gonna, you know, like, take all of Burgundy as a... We're gonna become the union leader, you know, all that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Here we go, boys. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So we got Hynet as well, which is interesting to, to think about. We've lost our claim, oh no. That's because we're the freaking king of Burgundy now. You better look up to us as the king of both Burgundy and freaking whatever it's called. Yeah, we're over the limit now because of the whole uh, high nut thing. That's okay. I don't really care. I might even just like release them. Be like, hey, you can go off in the wild, get eaten by someone. We'll eat you up later. No, that's a waste. We're not going to do that. Anyways, <laughs> it now exists. It is a reality. In person, you under them. Uh, under me. Actually, not under them. We should definitely improve relations with you right away. We have no air, which does scare me a little bit. Because, you know, let's be honest. If France got a pee over me, they would also get one over Burgundy. And then it would be France, Burgundy, Savoy, personal union. And that would be terrifying, but I don't want to be a part of it. So, you are, guys are still loyal, which is kind of funny. Um, reduces liberty desire by minus 20% at the cost of 10% of their monthly income? Why would I care about that? I mean, that seems like an obvious one to do, but is there any other thing? That is ridiculous. You can change people's culture? <laughs> we could change all of their culture to that. Is that what it would do? Or would it just change, like, their capital? That'd be kind of, like, hilarious, actually, to change all that culture to Piedmontese. I think it'd also be a waste. I'm not going to do that. That's not good. I know that sound. Aragon is no longer a valid rival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're not going to worry about it. Costly trade murders. Yeah. Welcome, Bargle. Oh, hey, it's just, uh... Yeah, you'll go down there. You'll stay up there and be based out of there. You'll go to Genoa, and from Genoa and Bern... Ah, uh, well, you'll probably go to Milan, actually. Let's put you in Milan first. So, now we're just gonna put them on autonomous rebel suppression, and just kind of sit this one out for a little bit. Uh, not do anything for a little while. We have some rebels we need to deal with. I'm not going to dispute this fact. So we'll get there, and they'll be based out of there, and then we'll just let them do work, let the computer do work. Oh, man. Oh, we have an air. That is such good timing. I was so worried. It's a fairly decent air, too. Well, it's actually one below average, but it's okay. Right now, what are we? A 345, a 354, I think. 353. That is above average by like two so it's it's okay our air has a strong claim as well oh thank goodness that is so good everything is going our way this time and i am so freaking happy meanwhile let's see what else i mean what else can we even do at this point i think what we'll do is after 50 years we'll integrate high nut and not integrate burgundy though and then it'll be funny we'll have this little strip of land up there which would actually be pretty good Oh, he found us out. What does our aggressive expansion look like? Yeah, it's a lot with you. Uh, Bosnia doesn't even care that much. Papal State doesn't even care that much. To, who even cares? No one cares. Oh, my God. It's people up here that were affected, and all the rest of the stuff I'm going to be doing is down here, so they're not going to care. This is amazing. I could probably just go to war again right now. Uh, what about Aragon? I haven't fought Aragon in a while. Hungary and Portugal. I could probably take that, but I don't really want to. Tuscany, Poland, Corsica, and Syria. Nah, not you. Let's not attack you. 
Portugal and Tuscany. Could be a good way to get at Tuscany. What about the Pope? Pope man. Hey, Pope man. I might kill you. Sorry. You're in my way. Uh, we don't want to take Rome yet, though. It would literally make us go, like, zero progress with Switzerland, I'm pretty sure. We don't want that. We want to have some progress, at least. Anyways. We're a little OP, if you didn't realize. This is... <laughs> pretty great. Did you... Nah, they got an air. That sucks. And they'll transfer me trade power? Really? Why? I mean, sure. It doesn't count as an extra relation. We already have relations. It gives us just money. And stuff. Poland, you, you freaking rivaled me. Why do you want... Why do you want military access? No, heck no. Modena and Separatists. Hey, we should go sit in Modena, probably. I'm not an expert. Let's go sit in Modena. That's not Modena. That's Modena. It's so easy to get around in Italy. Yeah, we'll probably reinforce once they pop. But yeah, that was a, this has been an exciting episode. <laughs> oh jeez, oh fudge, Burgundy. What you doing, man? What you doing, man, Burgundy? Burgundy, my man, what you doing? I don't care about Venice. I will gain Dipple Power any day, though. I have been needing it, so that's good. We got Burgundian peasants. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Here we go. You're not going to help, Burgundy? Jeez. Hey, France is going to help, though. Man, France loves me. What about France? Hey, you guys. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if we went and got France under a PU, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you want me to do that. Maybe I'll think about it. Because I should be able to see this before. Before then. We're going to lose a lot of manpower in these rebel fights. Eh. Yeah, it's a lot. Don't really care, though. Does France like us any less because of this? Not, not, not a... Uh, Insignificant amount, but not a. Oh, they use the Rome marriage as a pretext to claim a throne. It doesn't even matter that it wasn't even like someone they liked. It was someone they hated, but they still. I guess because we have a royal marriage with them, probably. Or does that affect, like, yeah, like Bohemia too? What about someone who we don't even know? Who we don't even have a royal marriage with? I mean, no, it doesn't. So yeah, okay, so it is just with people we. Right too. But yeah, so like that went down by six though just a month ago, and so did aggressive expansion by four. The other ones went up by, or you know, you know what I mean. We're gaining net opinion, which is good. That's always good. We'll also do that. Hmm. But anyways, that was a pretty insane little feat that we did there, and it's not even done yet. Which is great. We have, we're going to have more opportunities to get more PUs. Probably, if I had to guess the way things have been going right now. Who do you want to get like beyond this? Because there's plenty of other people I could see myself getting some juicy PUs over. Styria, obviously, is like a work in progress. Uh, what is going on here? No, I don't care. That's still the Bosnian... Oh, Bosnia is at war. They're trying to take it like they're doing rapid fire. They're doing blitzkrieg in Italy. Bosnia, this is not okay. I don't want to mess with you, Bosnia. You're cool. You're like the underdog of the Balkans. Uh, what about like, you think we could like get a PU over them? Probably not. <laughs> England? Oh, no, England's taking over part of Wales. Oh, that's not good. This would be the juicy one right here. Poland. 
But I think they still have no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. They still have that. We don't need to core anything anytime soon. I think we're still just burning off a little bit of aggressive, a little bit of aggressive expansion. I'm not really gonna rush in this campaign. I'm not really looking for like world conquest or anything. I'm just doing a leisurely little campaign as Italy. And it's gonna be fun from now on, even more than before. You'll take out Burgundy. And high no or high nuts, whatever you wanna call them. High nuts, no shit. Whoa, that's a lot of nuts. If you know what the movie that's from and what that reference is to. I mean, it's just a thing, I think, on the internet. It's not really a reference to anything in particular. <laughs> and who do we have as uh, our rivals? Yeah, a bunch of big people. Oh, we never selected a third person. Obviously not France. France is one of our best allies. We can't... Oh, yeah, because we lost... Oh, we never had Burgundy as one. Uh, who did we lose? Hmm. We could do Poland. But I think we're not going to mess with Poland at all. Not anytime soon. Nearly soon enough to do anything. Probably 100, 200 years away from that. Uh, Poland, I don't really want to mess with anyways. Ottomans, on the other hand. Ottomans are fairly close to us. We're definitely going to be messing with them in the future. And we're probably even going to be taking off as you're taking over the Mamluks now. Uh, we're probably even going to be taking lots of this land in the European side of things, at least. And possibly, like, all the way to Can Constantinople is my, one of my end goals. But, um, so we're definitely going to do that, I think. It's time. We're powerful enough. I do plan on taking over all of this part of the Mediterranean. And hopefully all this. And hopefully all of this as well. I want to make a giant Mediterranean Roman Empire thing. It would be fun. Do we have more force limit now? We do. Oh, and that reminds me. We have... Well, I think we should use this one to build more inventory. We have, uh, we have, um... Inflation's good. What was I going to say? Uh, you new unit types. We have new freaking unit types, and I never changed it. I think free shooter is good. And we do want to recruit a general. Please. Eh, kind of sucks. Eh, oh, that's much better. Uh, it's just, it's more balanced. It does have maneuver, which I like. I like maneuver. It's okay. Nothing wrong with a good bit of maneuver. Uh, maneuvre, as I like to call it. So we get idea cost down as well right now. We don't really care about this again. It's going to be a while before it goes down a lot. We don't really care about anything else from that for a, quite a while, frankly. Uh, this will make it go faster, definitely. So, like, right now, this will be done in 59. Let's do that. It's going to go down quite a bit. This is going to be good. 59? 55. I cut four years out of it. It's going to be done in three years. That is insane. We're going to have Switzerland as part of our nation in three years. That's not going to do any aggressive expansion, luckily. It's just going to make it so that we get more land, and the HRE hates us more, and the HRE pretty much hates us already. So, I'm not really worried about that. Man, how great would it be to inherit Burgundy? Well, I'm going to end this episode here. Things have gotten really interesting in this campaign, uh, and they will hopefully continue to do so. Hopefully we can eventually get our dynasty on the throne of, uh, of them. Of them. You know, the despicable them. They're actually one of my best allies. Uh, we can upgrade to this for quite a while. Maybe after we inherit Burgundy, hopefully. Uh, fingers crossed. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. And until next time, by the way, Speed 4 has been going great. I think I'm going to go in Speed 4 more so we can get more stuff done. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, goodbye.